Hi everybody, what's up? Mobile Experience once again with you and this time we're here with you to do the review of the brand new Samsung Galaxy A5. So these are the dimensions and um, uh, what is incredible is the depth, just 6.7 millimeters, but the camera comes a little bit out. The specs, the display is 5 inches HD Super AMOLED 294 PPI Pentile Matrix. CPU is the Snapdragon 410 quad-core 1.2 GHz, the GPU is the Adreno 306, 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of RAM expandable with micro SD, the camera 13 megapixel plus 5 megapixel in the front camera, and the battery 2300 milliampere. We're gonna see it later how it behaves. So we begin this review talking about, uh, uh, see, this is the way you unlock the screen, and uh, first of all, we're going to see which version of Android is installed in this phone. So you go to the info and you'll see that uh, there is the Android 4.4.4 KitKat. And we think that probably is going to be updated to Lollipop. So good news uh, about this. And uh, the phone is very fluid, as Lorenzo is showing you right now. Uh, we've used it for two weeks and no lags at all. And this phone is very fluid, so you're not going to have any kind of problem while um, surfing from a page to page. And so um, here you, you can see that you can change actually themes, and this is pretty cool. Um, you can choose uh, different themes, and also the icons are a little bit different, so not a great deal, but uh, you know, something that Samsung has tried to innovate um, in this part. So we like that, but now we we're going to um, we're going to switch back uh, to um, the default theme. Here it is. Um, so now we move on talking about the other things that you're going to find in this Samsung Galaxy A5. Uh, there is this uh, personal flipper similar to what we've seen in uh, HTC. Um, you you can of course uh, change the transition effect. But we advise to use the normal transition effect in order to reduce um, possible lags. If you choose a transition effect, which are more complicated, and uh, you have got the rapid toggle for sure. So the the interface is uh, is very beautiful as always, as we always find in Samsung, very intuitive, and you're going to find that is. Uh, uh, while using this brand new Samsung Galaxy A5. Um, you've got uh, two modes of energy saving, and the second one uses this uh, scale of gray colors, and in this mode, it is not, of course, uh, the screen is not so beautiful, but uh, the phone is able to last two days. So um, this is a very beautiful innovation, in our opinion. The reception is very good. The Wi-Fi also is very good. The GPS is perfect. Also using Google Maps in the first fix, the GPS uh, is um, awesome, and also the vo the volume is awesome. You're going to um, be able to listen to the person you're talking at uh, in a very fantastic way, and also the other person is going to listen to you in a perfect way. Um, one big deal, the notification LED is missing, so we really didn't like this choice about Samsung. We were really surprised that they chose to took away the notification LED, which in our opinion is very important in a phone. You're able to see if someone has written to you in an instant, and uh, we actually didn't understand why Samsung chose not to put the notification LED in. And the other big deal is that the battery is not removable. So these are the two main negative parts, but we're going to see it uh, later in the conclusion. Uh, there is the backlighting in the soft touch button in the front, so this is positive. Now we're going to talk about camera. This is a fast focusing camera, maybe apart from very close object. If uh, the subject uh, you're taking a photo at is very close, uh, you need to tap uh, once more often. Uh, so this is not actually so fast, but apart from that, it's a very fast focusing camera and there are a lot of modes, the modes that we usually find on Samsung, as Lorenzo is showing you, so you're not going to be disappointed because um, there are a lot of modes present and this uh, Samsung Galaxy A5 is able to record video in Full HD, which are very good. In our opinion, the volume is a little bit too low in videos, but apart from that, the video are good. And um, so you, here we are going to 
Here we are seeing a little bit uh, some photos taken with this A5. This is a selfie, so taken with the front camera, pretty good. And uh, here you can see the simple photo that you usually take, uh, also this one. And the definition is good, as you can see. Uh, the macro, the macro is great. This one came in a fantastic way, stunning way. And uh, we tried to bring it on the PC and the result is awesome. Also this one, the macro are great in this phone. Also, if you bring them on the PC, uh, the result is great. And uh, what can we say about this camera? It's not at the level of the S4. Uh, but it's a good camera, not the best 30 megapixel available on the market for sure uh, and not the level of the Galaxy S4, but it's still uh, a good camera. Now we're going to pass by, we're going to uh, move on, so we're going to talk about um, the display. So we're reproducing a video test and so then we can see how this behaves and the screen is super AMOLED so the colors are very vivid if you don't like them to look so vivid you can actually change settings in order to reduce this effect and they're going to look more natural um, which we like a little bit, a little bit more um, so the, the lining is, is uh, the, the, the first impression is very good the angle of view is awesome as in every super AMOLED screen, maybe the the maximum lightning is not so good. We expected a little bit more, but apart from that, uh, um, the display is good. But there is a bit a, a big but. The but is this one: you've got the pen tile matrix. So that means that uh, uh, we really didn't understand this choice because you can actually use the an HD RGB matrix or a full HD pen tile. This is an HD pen tile and in a phone that is going to cost 400 euro, at least in Italy, when it comes out, is, is an, 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 we really didn't like this choice because in, on the pen tile matrix, as you may know, you just got two sub pixel for every pixel. So uh, actually you can notice pixel, this, uh, you can notice this little black grid um, and you can notice this little black grid, especially on white. So if you are very close to, to the screen, to the display, you're going to, um, to watch it because you've got just two sub pixel for every pixel in the RGB matrix, you got three sub pixel for every pixel and the result is much better. So the Pentel matrix uh, and the display is not so good for this reason in our opinion. Uh, the colors are awesome, the black is awesome, the white as Lavenzo showed you before is awesome because it doesn't tend neither to yellow or light blue. Um, now we're going to talk about music, so we're going to listen to Pompeii. It was Pompeii, our simple song as always, and what can we say about the audio part? The volume, in our opinion, is a little bit too low, uh, and the, posino the position of the speakers placed on the back, uh, as you know, we don't like this position. Uh, the camera comes a little bit out, so the sound is not too covered, also if the phone is placed on a table, for example, but the position still remains not good, in our opinion. We don't like phones with the speaker placed on the back. And yeah, the volume is too low, so the audio part is not great. Um, here it is, the Antutu benchmark, and the score is 21k. Um, so not a big score, as you may notice if, we have, if you have seen uh, other our videos, we usually uh, use the Antutu benchmark to have an idea of uh, which score a phone relies. 21,000 is not a lot, but we can guarantee you that the performance is better. It's better than a lot of MediaTek and OctaCore processor that relies 28, 20k, 28,000 score. So don't worry about that, because in this case, the Antutu benchmark is not 100% uh, reliable, in our opinion. Now we're going to talk about the gaming part. So as you've seen, uh, Lorenzo has launched the... Um, Real Racing 3, one of the most testing game out there in the market. So we're going to see how this Samsung Galaxy A5 behaves. And first of all, we can say that it doesn't warm a lot. So that's a positive thing because the processor is just 1.2 gigahertz. And this really helps uh, not um, to warm this uh, phone a lot. And also the it doesn't stress the battery a lot. Um, so 
uh, here it is real racing free is not uh, very detailed um, for example you don't have the details from the back mirrors as you can see uh, but apart from that the game is fluid so very few lags uh, um, this Samsung Galaxy A5, in our opinion, is a good phone also for gaming. And um, of course, it's not the best one in the market uh, if you are very fond of uh, playing games, but it's good for gaming too. And uh, the positive thing is that it doesn't stress the battery a lot. So, of course, that's very positive. Now we're going to move on. We're going to talk about browser as you, we usually do. We are connected with the H. SDPA connection, so now with the Wi-Fi, and uh, we're going to surf on the Covera della Sera, watch one of the most uh, uh, testing sites uh, in Italy because it contains a lot of news, a lot of photos, videos, and links, and uh, so you're seeing a little bit of rendering problem because the scrolling in uh, Samsung is uh, a little bit too fast in our opinion in every Samsung devices and of course this doesn't help because you have rendering problems but the pinch and pen are very very reactive as Lavenza is showing you so that's positive pinch and pen are awesome uh, you may have a little bit problems when you scroll down especially so fast as it occurs in Samsung devices so few black zones and few lags but you know the, the browser experience is, is not bad um, the last thing that we're going to talk about is battery. Battery has got 2,300 milliampere, and the, the processor, as we said before, doesn't stress the battery a lot. The display is just HD, so uh, for these two reasons, also if you use it in an intensive way, one day is guaranteed. So, um, a very good battery indeed. And the, the negative thing is that it's not removable, so maybe we they could have had uh, 200 milliampere more in our opinion but apart from that the battery is good so what can we say guys this phone is 400 euro when um, it came out uh, in italy and um, maybe 360 and 70 online so it doesn't it costs a lot in our opinion it's a medium high uh, range of phone um but the the cpu is the same as we've seen in ace4 uh, which cost, as you may know, 150 euros. So the, the positive aspect of this phone, the design and materials, aluminium and polycamber and very good on the back. So design and materials is great in this A5. The battery is very good and also the fluidity in general, as you've seen. Uh, the negative part, the display with this pencil matrix, as we've seen before, the notification LED is missing and the battery is not removable. So guys, this was our review of the Samsung Galaxy A5. Please uh, subscribe to our channel and share the video to help us And uh, if you like what we do. And stay tuned because other videos are coming. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye by Mobile Experience.